These things are stacked. Like they're just so thick. You can get out here and catch these big, fat, God, I love doing that. All right, we're out on the bay this evening, the east side, uh, lower bay. If you've been keeping tabs on the lower bay, the rumor is that the bite is off. Now, I can't confirm or deny that because I've only been out here once and I caught a couple fish here in Nitro last week, and that's the plan this evening. We're gonna try to cast for a little bit. It's 7.29, so I don't have too long to do this. Um, and then we're gonna do some night trolling. So hopefully we can get on some fish. I'm marking a ton of fish in this, but there's nobody out here. And if you know the lower bay, that is actually uh, a rarity out here. So let's get to fishing. Like I said, we don't have much time. Let's see if we get some fish in the boat. Bring back the confidence of the lower bay for you. up here. I'm guessing it's a walleye. Doesn't feel huge. This is where they get feisty. And that's way up there. Nice eye. Nice eye. Stay pin, buddy. Ran right at me. Right when I set the hook. Nice one. That's a big freaking walleye on a shiver minnow. There we go. That's a nice Green Bay walleye right there. Man, they are stocky out here. I just got back from Canada and I thought those were stocky fish, but this is a beauty. Let's put them on the tape. That is a hell of a tank of a fish. And we're gonna get her back in the water here. up here. On this first port. Feels pretty stout. Feels really stout. Stay pinned, buddy. Alright, here's the hard part. is when you only have one guy in the boat <laughs> and you gotta try to net a fish. Let's get the net camera on here. So right now I'm running flicker shad. Eight feet down, I was just burning over the top of these reefs, about 12 feet of water. He's on there. He feels pretty big. Gotta keep the line tight. I had one hit it about 10 minutes ago. I buried the board, but then I lost it. This 
fish feels nice. So I'm fishing by myself, I kind of try to slow down the boat a little bit so I can get a net jab on this thing because it's pretty hard to do if you don't. Nice eye. Nice eye. Just got it pinned in the back. We're gonna get her tight. See if we can get her in there. Oh, came off in the net too. <laughs> That's an eyeball. Nice one. Oh, bigger. That one. Let's turn this off. Can you see me now? Started to mark quite a few fish here. Right in the edge of my run. And I missed one probably 10 minutes ago, buried the board. So I like how things are looking up here. So nice, fat, about 20 inch Green Bay walleye. Let's keep things going. Flicker shed. Oh, wait, I got a fish, I got a fish hand. Gotta go, gotta go. Talk to you later. We're hooked up here. I think. Pitting back pretty good. Attention on deck. At ease, men. Uh, many of you are wondering what's wrong with my pants. Well, they started running short of material right before they got to the knee, so well, don't give me any shit. Man, these bugs are atrocious. If you know what these things are, they don't bite. They look like little mayflies, and maybe they are. Let me know. Comment below is what they say, I think, on YouTube. Did I get this thing over my board? I was just talking to Darren, and it seems like every time I talk to that guy, I catch a fish. Maybe he should come out here and fish with me. As always, the net job here with the single man is the, <laughs> the hardest part. I see eyeballs. 40 feet back. Stay pinned, buddy. said stay pin. Stop your splashing. Let's get net cam on here. Try to keep them down. Nice eyeball. Barely hooked, of course. Got him. There we go. Nice eater fish. They're a good fish there. Seems like every single time I talk to Darren, I catch a fish. So maybe I should call him more often. 
but got a couple eaters in the bucket, caught that big one, shiver minnowing, and then a small one, and then one that I missed is a pin and board back. So we're grinding it out tonight, just fish down there. I still think they're feeding on alewives. We're gonna find out later when we clean this guy, so. A couple more passes. I shortened up the run that time. It's the same spot that I was shiver minnowing earlier today and caught that 25 incher. Nothing was bad. You could tell I hit sand. Oh, I got a fish, Scott. I gotta go. I gotta go. Feels like. Bye. We're hooked up here again. Same spot. Get my light on. Same spot every time. And I'm assuming it's gonna be about the same size fish. Bye, on. I'm running. Yeah, it's so fun when you're nitroing out here by yourself and you're getting into these fish. Uh, this one feels like a decent one too. I'm only 40 feet back, so by the time I get this board off, I should see some eyes light up. Caught one on the shiver minnow right before dark. And I'm literally catching these fish in the same exact spot every time. Net cam on. I'm running 1.8 miles per hour. Actually, I slowed it down a little bit, 1.7. Not a whole lot slowing down, but slowed it down. Where are you at? This one's feisty. Oh, he's coming in. Another nice eater walleye. Oh, I didn't slow down my boat. Still looking for that big one though. God, is netting them here by yourself is just, oh, don't shake me. Don't shake me off about the same size as all the rest of them. Oh no, my light, my headlamp's dying. That's no good. Ah, I got him. Another beautiful fish off the bay. Let's speed this up unless we can try to catch another here. And try not to get hooked. If you've never tried nitroing, I know it's a little spookily out here, but if I can do this by myself, Take a buddy, you can get out here and catch these big, fat, beautiful Green Bay walleyes. So if you wanna get out here, put your time in. You'll find fish. I've got a feeling the next couple months are gonna pop off. Guys have been struggling out here, not everybody. Um, I've only been out here once since I got back from Canada, but these things in the next couple months, I think it's gonna be on. Until next time, thanks for watching.